about to make some yummy butternut squash soup with that beautiful butternut squash that I cooked up and took away from the skin and everything and all that good stuff. So we're going to move on. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this pumpkin. First of all, I'm getting my pan hot right here. We're going to make butternut squash soup. Got a couple of tablespoons of butter I'm putting in the bottom of this pan. Get that going. I'm going to have all the ingredients down below, but I'll be going over them as I add them in. Now to get going, I've got, like I said, I've got a couple of tablespoons of butter going in that pan. All right, that butter's going. And to that, I had to get my spoon I wanted. To this for now, half the spoon I wanted, so I'm just going to keep going. All right. This is about, oh, a little over half of one sweet onion, okay? And I'm just going to kind of cook this off. I've got my fire down. I'm not trying to burn it or anything. I just want to just cook it down just a little bit before I add my squash. Okay. I've been going for a few minutes. You can see it's starting to turn translucent. Translucent, if I can speak. It's been a long day today. All right, that's cooking down really, really well. And I'm going to go ahead and start. I can do this without making a mess. Adding in my butternut squash. Most of it's soft, and I've got a couple of spots in there. But that's no big deal because I'm going to use my immersion blender later. Alright, and to that I'm adding three cups of chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth if you want to, but I always use chicken. Okay. Gave that a good stir. And next I'm going to add oh, about and about a teaspoon of white pepper. Just regular white pepper. Also, I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt. Now, at the end, you will salt this and pepper this to your taste. But right now, we're just going to start with one and one a teaspoon each. There's my kitty cat again. You're driving me crazy. We'll get this little good stir. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Now that everything's in, I should have turned my heat up already. I'm going to bring this up to a boil, put a lid on it, then I'm going to cut this down to a low simmer. Then I'm going to come back and check on it in about, oh, four to five minutes. And at that time, I'm going to go at it with my immersion blender. And, you know, I, I don't have it connected yet, but, you know, that's... For those of you that don't know, stick blender. Not saying everybody doesn't know, but some people don't. And from there, we will go on. After I get it uh, blended very well, I will be adding in some heavy cream. Just enough to make it creamy. And then at the end, you salt and pepper to your liking. And this is basic butternut squash soup. A whole lot of people feel the need to add potatoes or carrots and things like that and you, you know knock yourself out if you want to uh, I find if you add too much other stuff you're detracting away from the flavor of the butternut squash and so I just keep my squash soup extremely simple and I never have leftovers so as I say I must be doing something right <laughs> all right I'm going to bring this up to a boil and I'm going to cut it down to a low simmer 
Oh, about 200. Keep your eye on it. Make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. Don't just walk off for 45 minutes. That just means, you know, it should be ready to, you know, go to the next step in 45 minutes. But that doesn't mean just walk off and never come stir or check on it, okay? For the most part, there shouldn't be any problems, but I always say never just walk off and leave everything unless it's in a crock pot. Okay? We'll be back when it's time for the next step. Thanks. Hey everybody, we're back. And I've let this cool for about 15 minutes with no heat. And now I'm going to use my immersion blender and we're going to just blend this up. It's still very hot. finish this off camera because this is hot and awkward and I will come right back let me get this finished okay we'll be right back okay look at this and take me about a second once I could get it over there to me where I could reach it better uh, smooth as it can be nice and thick and the last thing I'm adding a cup of heavy cream you could use half and half if you want to I'm just using what I had and that's heavy cream Whisk this in, and again, at the end, after you do this, you'll do your white pepper and your salt to taste again. It's probably just right, but that's to each his own. I mean, you know, you might want a little more pepper at your house, you might want a little more salt. It's up to you. But anyway, that is some yummy yummy butternut squash soup this is going to be some fantastic creamy butternut squash soup on a fall day you can't get any better than that okay you gotta try this I hope you will and let me know got plenty of other videos coming up for you like a marathon of them or something like that I don't know anyway join me I'll see you next time bye bye